It's the 1980s. And up and down the United Kingdom, schools are getting computers for the first time. And these schools are looking for software to run on them, particularly educational games. And what better educational game can there be than a business simulator? Oh yes. I mean, after all, this is the era of Margaret Thatcher. Let the capitalist indoctrination begin! Where am I? I'm doing a video about an old game for the BBC called Tea Shop. Yeah, I guess that. But why am I in the tea shop? Oh, that's because I'm the non-corporeal voice of the narrator, and thus may struggle to run a tea shop. So who's with those hands in the last video? Don't pick holes in the continuity, we haven't got the budget for it. Okay, I guess I'm the proud owner of a tea shop. Let's find the kettle, I suppose. The rules of the game are quite simple. Each round the game gives you a weather prediction, and asks you how many teas you want to prepare. It tells you how much each tea costs to make, with inflation driving up the price each and every round. Well, it is the 1980s. You choose the price you sell the tea at, and how many announcements you want to make. Can I just... At the moment, I'm just preparing these teas. The game now tells us how we did. Oh, hang on, an event has occurred. What? Extra supporters arrive. All teas are sold out. <laughs> Ooh, look how much profit we made. Wow, you can tell this is 1980s pricing. With those kind of profits, these videos are going to have to remain low budget for a while, I think. Yeah. I, I just... A moment, I'm just sorting myself out here. Of course, not every day was nice weather. Sometimes it's rainy, which, you know, has a negative impact on business. Busy. Sometimes events occur that can be negative too. Look, I need to get the electricity back on today. I've got a tea shop to run. Yeah. I am on the phone. Other bad events happen, such as a plague of wasps drives everyone away. Wasps? How dangerous can wasps be? Oh, 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 no, 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 go away. No, 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 piss off. No, go away. No, go away. <laughs> I need to type these things in while I can. If you're using electricity, you better be ordering something. Well, if I could just order... Well, if you could come round, but yeah, like I said, there's a plague. I don't know how many wasps constitutes a plague. What are you come and find out? Other negative events include a downpour, the match is rained off, a wall's ice cream van takes all the trade. Oh, an early example of product placement there. Not bad for 1983. Comment below if you can think of an earlier example. Yeah, have that YouTube suggestions where I can get more views and be less sucky. Go on, go on, clear off, this is my spot. Yeah, that's right, keep moving. There was also a flu epidemic. The match is cancelled. Well, that was prescient. I know, right? And finally, heat exhaustion. Too hot in the tea tent. There were also good events as well, such as it's a very hot day. Everyone is thirsty. How is this different from bad even? We get air con. Not on this channel's budget. Our remaining good events are extra supporters, your school team wins, extra time needed, people get hungry, passing tourists eat a lot of teas, the weather improves, sounds better than expected. For such a simple game, it is rather fun, especially compared to doing actual schoolwork. In fact, we even played it occasionally at home with friends. As it was written in BBC Basic, you could even change the events. And in our school, we certainly did. I mean, not a single one of them is broadcastable, but, but we changed them. Given the game's success, its author, Anita Stryker, created a follow-up game called Zoo. No, I'm not running a zoo. Find someone else to make your game reviews. Well, that's the end of our video, and it just remains for me to say thank you for watching, and please like, share, and comment. In the description below, you'll find links to the channels of all our wonderful contributors, Studio Adventure Rummy and Watto Snorkers, and of course, we must not forget Zombie Workshop, who provided the graphics for us. Do you know? I think he's gone home. <laughs>